All right, folks, Pitching Games 88, we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. We are on night 10, mini Zomboss battle, Dark Ages. Well met, not very noble lord. It is my fervent medical opinion that your humors are out of balance. Methinks the siphoning of thine brains is the only way to correct this ailment. Fare the ill, Dr. Edgar Zomboss. Hey, I prefer my humors and my brains unbalanced. Because I'm crazy. Alright, folks. So, mini Zomboss battle. A couple tips and tricks that you're going to definitely want to utilize. Uh, main one is going to be for the final wave, you are going to want to make sure that you have two plant foods. If you do not have two plant foods by the final wave, I don't think you're going to make it. I've played this multiple times. If you do not have that, you are going to be in big trouble because uh, you need them basically to take out the gargantuans. Luckily, a plant food on the puff shrooms, bloom shrooms, whatever you want to call them, uh, use that on our gargantuan. It will be able to take them out, but you do need to because whatever plants that they give you right now, you are not going to be able to take out the gargantuans with basically just plants. You are going to absolutely need some plant food. So you can utilize plant food throughout, but you just have to be aware of, you know, the plant food stock that you have. So right here, right in the very beginning, you're going to get your two plant food really quickly. That's going to be amazing. You know, boom, two plant food. Now, anything you get extra, you can use to kind of help protect your guys if you're running into any problems. I'll be showing you to where there are some problems that kind of I ran into, so you can hopefully try to avoid them. Uh, you're going to get a lot of these puff shrooms. Definitely going to want at least three columns worth. Uh, I've noticed that three columns worth seems to be about the right sweet spot that you uh, that you kind of want them. So, you know, use accordingly. Use those gravestones to definitely take out the graves that either have sun or plant foods. I believe it's mostly plant food. Again, right here, uh, plant the puff shroom basically just to slow down the middle guy to give your uh, plant your potato mine a little bit of time to charge up and basically blow him up before he actually takes it out so that's an easy way just to take that guy out pretty quickly you have an extra plant food use it I would use it right here especially due to the fact that you don't want to basically take out your walnuts you're only given I think seven or eight walnuts so you have enough for a full row but you'll only have enough to actually back them up uh, only like once or twice so it doesn't give you a whole extra lot of time but it does give you some time so definitely use those little those little puff shrooms to uh, slow down the zombies from eating your walnuts but like as you can see right here the second from the top row that walnut is he is struggling he is not doing very well so the puff shroom hopefully is gonna slow down this guy a little bit more uh, you're also going to have, you know, another plant food, so you can actually use one if you want to. But again, try and wait till you're absolutely, it's absolutely necessary to utilize it. Uh, otherwise, you know, you're going to be finding yourself in trouble and not really being able to use it. So again, that bottom row, there's not going to, there's not a whole lot of plants, right, or zombies right there. So you don't really need to put a walnut there. You're basically good saving that walnut for another row that might have some problems. Uh, the first, this first uh, little wave, little flag, you know, definitely you can use a plant food because you're going to have plenty. Now that top row, uh, you, you are going to have a lot of problems because there's a lot of bucket heads. Definitely going to want to take those guys out. Great thing about that row, you can also use it to take out the gravestones as well. Now there's a gargantuan definitely want to take him out now what you can do is you can kind of wait a little bit you can wait till he gets a little bit closer to you you're doing a little bit more damage to him these zombies are going to be doing quite a good uh bit of work on your walnut but uh you know just basically try and put as much stuff as you possibly can between yourself and the zombie this zombie is going to be quite a pain so you can actually use two just because again you're gonna get another plant food right there 
And as you'll notice, our walnuts are not doing very well. We don't have any more real walnuts to actually do, actually plant. So you're going to see, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a stressful situation for you if you are playing this. But again, bear with me. You use this strategy, you will be able to get through it. I guarantee it. Any video you see me upload, I did get through it. Uh, this one, I definitely got through it more than once. So that can definitely help you out. So three, three, three columns deep of Puff Shrooms does do a really good amount of damage to most of your zombies that are going to come at you. So just know that. Uh, basically put another one in that bottom row just to slow them down a little bit. And again, you are not at the final row. Due to the fact that you are not at the final row, be careful. Don't use a plant food unless you absolutely have to. Or in the top row, you basically use a plant food and you get a free one back. So that makes it pretty awesome and a great way to do it. Just due to the fact that you can basically get another one. Great thing right here. We can easily put some uh, of these guys down. Get that bucket head guy in that row. You get all of these guys in that middle row, you should be able to take him out before he really gets to you. That final wave is going to be coming up really soon. And as you can see, you'll probably, if you're playing this like I am, you are getting really, really low on the amount of you know, walnuts that you have to give you just that little bit of extra protection. Now, top row, fantastic. You're going to be getting another plant food. Another plant food. That is so awesome. I mean, you are just going to... That is just fantastic. Put another walnut down, take them out. Again, try and kind of wait for the gargantuans to get a little bit farther. And once they get farther, just take them out. Great thing is, if you get them to throw the guy, basically it means you've done enough damage to them to really take them out. You get another little plant food you can do to take these guys out. Plant the potato mines. Great thing about the potato mines is after he throws the guy, after he throws the kid, those ones will actually take them out. So you don't actually have to do much. Those things will blow them up. As you can see, just blew them up right there. And that's going to be night 10, guys. We did that, and we also got the key so we could actually go to Big Wave Beach. See you guys on the next part. This has been Pitching Ace 88, over and out.